tonight's starting lineups. They are brought to us by Geico. St. Francis is a deep team. Jamal King is one of the top scorers in the league. Isaiah Blackman, also an excellent scorer. Laparal is the big guy. Norfleet playing the point. Kulangis is a late addition to the starting lineup. Only seven starts this year. He did not play the last four games. Sumbri is a shot blocker. And where they were picked back in October. Right now, let's head it back to Dave. All right, that's our resident Michael J. Fox, Craig D'Amico. <laughs> Very good. And we are underway, shot clock operational, and these teams are ready to go here on Grimes Hill in Staten Island. Wagner with it first, wearing white. That's Eli Davis, a senior guard from the Bronx. Now Jonathan Norfleet, the freshman point guard. He's been hot lately. And the loose ball comes to Colangis, who's knocked down. Big key to this game is Wagner is one of the best, the best rebounding team in the Northeast Conference, and they crushed the offensive glass. Big concern for Rob Crimmel and St. Francis is giving Wagner extra possessions. They've just given him one on the opening possession. Foul was on Jamal King of St. Francis, and it's stolen by Keith Braxton, who leads the league in steals. This St. Francis team can score it, second in the league, over 76 points per game. Pretty good three-point shooting team as well. This is man-to-man -man defense of Wagner. Right, watch your help. A little bust out by Isaiah Davis. Randall Gaskins can't get it. Yeah. Elijah Davis up top. Kulangis finds Norfleet. Wagner would like to keep this game in the 50s or the 60s and dictate pace. Davis for three. There's the effort on the glass again by Sumbry. Kulangis for three. And they make them. They made 12 threes in Loretto out in early January when Wagner actually beat St. Francis on their home floor. Both of these teams done in by the three ball in their last game. Wagner coming off a loss at FDU. As Blackman has a shot blocked by Sumbry. He's all over the place early as A.J. Sumbry. FDU is 8 for 15 from three in that game. A win to keep their hopes alive for the NEC regular season title. And St. Francis lost their last one by three to LIU. LIU had 10 threes in that game. Trying to get it to Saunders, but it's stolen again by Braxton. Keith Braxton, no. The transition defense, everybody getting back. Saunders one on three, thought better of it. Wagner wants to keep this game in the half court, Dave. They can't turn the basketball over. That will fuel the fast breaks to San Fr St. Francis. Again, St. Francis wants to go up and down. Wagner wants a half court game. It's Norfleet. Cut off. Saunders fakes his man in the air, and Gaskins looked like he fouled him. A.J. Sumber, he's been bouncy so far in this early going. And there's the rejection. I love the way he went with his left hand to mirror the shot of Isaiah Blackman. Sumber, fourth in the NEC in blocks and fourth in team history. Three blocks today puts him into third place. He's got an offensive rebound. He's got two offensive rebounds so far in the first couple minutes also. The off-balance three won't go for Sumbry, but the putback will. Was that, was that Derek Wittenberg just shot that right there? <laughs> <laughs> Former Wagner coach. Yeah, fair, beautiful call. Yeah. The legend of Derek Wittenberg still here. Saunders had that putback, and Wagner strikes first. Braxton. There's the versatility of Braxton. He can ball with double comes. King. Find the big guy inside, Luigi Laparal. Beautiful delivery by, the, by Jamal King. Under duress in traffic, making the delivery. King seventh in the NEC in assists. Chase Freeman in quickly for Wagner, and he turns it over. Stolen by Isaiah Blackman. And Blackman is fouled, and they'll say it's a shooting foul. Some early carelessness, though, by Wagner. Is there Taking, here's Jamal King in his previous possession. Look at that. In traffic, just knowing exactly where to go. You know, that's, that's a lot 
lot of training day after day. When guys penetrate, the bigs got to know exactly where to go. You have to be in the vision of your point guard. You got to be either in their headlights or their taillights. That time, Laparel knew just the angle to be so Jamal King could drop him in, drop him the pass. And remember, objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. <laughs> Blackman makes his free throws. Wagner has turned it over four times yes. in the early going. Freeman, wild. Here they are, open floor. King, tipped in by Blackman. A great effort by Isaiah Blackman getting back in again. This game is going the way St. Francis wants it. There's a lot of open court opportunities. Again, they want to they want a chaotic. Look at this actor. Freeman is tied up, and they're going to call a foul instead of a jump ball on Gaskins. It looked like they had him tied up. Take a peek right here. Look at this hustle right here. Running the floor, getting it up there, and then Blackman following it up. Blackman had 10 rebounds in his last game. He's six foot one. I, I tell you what, that's a, the amazing thing. They play four guards, and yet they're one of the top rebounding teams in the Northeast Conference. They're 15th in the country in offensive rebound, St. Francis. And Blackman with another rebound. You know what the beauty is? He can just bust out when you got guards. You don't need an outlet pass. High screen for Braxton right now. They're, they're icing the screen, trying to keep it to the side. Gaskins turned it over. Stolen back. Three is good, Keith Braxton. Good job by Gaskins that time, knowing his shooter was to the right of him. And again, not taking care of the basketball. That was a crazy save right there. You want to save it to the other near side of the floor. Early seven point lead for St. Francis, trying for their 16th win and their 12th in league play, which would clinch a share of the NEC title. Foul on Gaskins. It, they could also win the outright title tonight with some help if RMU, Robert Morris, wins and if FTU loses. 15-12 left. A championship. Dave, back to you. Okay, Craig, and Tim, you remember what a great player Mike Isolino was, the oh. former Dallas Maverick. That's now an assistant coach for Robert Morris. Now, an unbelievable player, unbelievable talent. He, along with Joe Anderson, led that team. And, boy, that, Jim Barron, that was an outstanding, outstanding group. See if Wagner can score so they can set their terrific defense. Nigel Jackson is in for the first time. You, you, you can't play that Wagner D if you turn it over and you don't score. Right now, little different looks, a little 1-2-2 two, two extended pressure. But this is what Wagner can do. They can really guard you. Not just playing man-to-man -man like they have in other years. Here's King deep. Wow! Jamal King from the logo. <laughs> You're right. Shot it from the Seahawks. King uh, coming into this game extremely hot. Eight times over 20 points. Norfleet hits the three. Jonathan Norfleet had four threes in his last game. 16 points. Sumbury on the foul. They almost got that one. Look at how deep Jamal King. Yes, he's inside. That's about 28 feet right there. He comfortably drains that. If it, right underneath the, the Seahawks' nose right there. How about that? <laughs> the beak. He shot it from the beak. <laughs> Andre Wolford at the line. An excellent shooter. 83% from the line. A noted three-point shooter as well as Devin Liggins comes in. Core Wagner. He's a senior from Philadelphia. We've also seen Mark Flagg come in for St. Francis, who is a big guy, a 6'9 sophomore who's played great yeah. down the stretch. I am really a big fan of Mark Flagg. He, he's good now, and he keeps getting better. He, can, he gets up off his feet so effortlessly. Andre Wolfer, the senior, makes them both. St. Francis perfect at the line, and they have a seven-point lead. Eli Davis. Jackson coming off a big performance. He can really score, make some plays. A little ball screen action for Norfleet. See, look at the feet of Flag. He can move them. Liggins. Davis is three. That's good. 
Well, Wagner can shoot. Wagner likes the three. They'll take a ton of them. Lead the NEC and makes about eight a game. And if they get hot and combine that with defense, they are so dangerous. It's a funny stat. They're ninth out of ten in percentage. Yes. But they, they lead make and make. So not shot. Huh. Wolford is fouled. Earl Walton, the veteran official with the call. Chris Slattery, Ed Corbett Jr., the other officials. Take a peek here. Nice little pass by Liggins right here as he kicks it out. And then Elijah to say Davis able to just set his feet and drain it. Great vision by Liggins. They've gotten a boost off the bench, Wagner. They came in, a little, started the game a little stale. They went to the bench and guys are coming in and making some plays. Wolford makes his first. Now Eli Davis is the guy that had the big game last time when Wagner won at St. Francis right. in January at a team high 20 points and that was a big win for the Seahawks. It sure was and again in that game they made 12 threes. They played with great confidence. See Wagner's playing better now. They haven't turned the basketball over. That was their, their big problem in the first four minutes of this game. Little horn set right here. See, Ramon, Ramon Saunders very quiet here in the early going. See if he gets a touch. Makes a play. Good switch out to him. Jackson, again, you talked about the big game he had last time. 22 points in 19 minutes. It was a new career high, and they all came in the second half. Yeah, you know, that play, though, was made by Norfleet. Uh, great vision. His flag stepped out. His flag steps out here to deny, and that's great vision by Norfleet. They hit the guy slipping on the screen right there. Great vision by a freshman point guard. Wagner has played more zone yeah. this year than ever. In a lot of ways, it's easier to guard the three-point line in a zone. It, it just is. It, it's strange. It, it's, it goes against all your thinking. But, but now you got to stay at home on shooters so often. Got to stay at home on him. Yes. Wolford, a rare miss, and that goes out of bounds. But an over-the-back foul. On Nigel Jackson of Wagner. The three ball is just such a part of basketball right now that if you overhelp, it, it, you go into the paint and overhelp, you'll get crushed at the three point lines. So everybody can shoot it. So it's oftentimes zones help you recover the shooters easily. Raxton. Also good to make that disrupt the rhythm of an offense when you change defenses. St. Francis is a little uncomfortable right now. Wolford's three oh, is good. Not that uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Wolford was second to the country last year, 50% from he, downtown. He's got as good a looking shoot, shooting stroke as anybody in the country. Beautiful form. Davis with a strong drive. I like his all-around game with Eli Davis. Wow, a little bit of everything, and strong. His game's like a buffet. <laughs> Wagner has made their last five shots. Braxton to flag, and he is fouled by Davis. That's what Braxton can do, right? Can make guys look good. Watch the shooting form of Andre Wolford right here. Look at that fine. They've gotten there. They've made their six of six. Wagner hasn't attempted a free throw yet. And here's Mark Flag right back to the line again. Flag has really come on in this his sophomore year. Rob Grimmel has given him more and more time down the stretch. He's now eighth in blocks, fifth in offensive rebounding in the NEC. Again, we alluded to it earlier. I just like his potential. I, I think he's good now. I think he can just keep getting better the way he moves. Elevates effortlessly. He's got a good looking stroke. Makes one out of two. St. Francis has stayed strictly man to man. Wagner's shown multiple defenses. Chase Freeman with a second chance. That goes, and he's fouled. Good job tracking it down by Chase Freeman right there. First of all, Norfleet attacking the rack. Gets all the defense out of position. 
The ball becomes alive, and then Chase Freeman able to retrieve it and then find a way. Big time finish. Ramir Dixon, Conover, the sophomore from Newark, is in. Freeman to the line. He's a sophomore as well. Gallatin, Tennessee. Tennessee reminds me of a great Wagner player named Dietrich Dye. Right? One of our favorites. One of our favorites. Top 20 all-time in scoring. Great guard. Played overseas. Wagner's done a nice job regrouping in this game. They started off very stagnant. Again, they haven't turned the basketball over like they did early in the game. That was their issue. And now they can guard. Show that uh, aggressive in-your-face defense. Miles Thompson in for the first time. Dixon Conover running the point here. His deep one will not go. Rebounded by Davis. Wagner can tie here. They've been down by eight. Norfleet. Somebody got a piece. Good D by Wolford. And King is fouled by Freeman. Good three-point shooting tonight for St. Francis. They got to be a little smarter, right? Now they're in the bonus. Wagner's in the bonus. Seventh foul, Jamal King, an outstanding free throw shooter, goes to the line. That'd be a little smarter when you're about 25 feet from the basket. Se <laughs> 79 percent free throw shooter this year, and he misses the front end, rebounded by Ramon Saunders, who's been quiet. Very quiet, Ramon. There's Ramon with the feed, big time. Sumbry. Sumbry with the feed, but I like the vision of Ramon Saunders on that one. Here's a Freeman right here, trying to dictate, trying to get up into Jamal King. Good screen by Flag. Flag travel. See that all the time, right? You, you got to release the ball on that subtle fake. Look at that beautiful feed by Saunders right here. So you see Sunbury. Love the way Sunbury was active early in the game. That time rewarded him. First turnover for St. Francis. They have been efficient here tonight. Again, that's why Wagner's back right into this game and almost tying it up right now is that they're taking care of the basketball. See, Saunders isn't forcing the issue either. That's what I like. It's letting the game come to him. Saunders regains. Tough shot. <laughs> Talk about making something out of nothing right there, right? Just talking about him. Thought he would come alive and he made it happen on that one. Wagner has taken the lead here. Nine and a half minutes left in the first half. They've made eight of their last ten from the field. They can guard you. They can reel it. Braxton's been quiet. It's got good defense by Wagner. Individual containment. Boy, they sit down and guard you. That time Saunders was right up in the right, yeah, right into Keith Braxton, moving it with the help of Sumbry, and they force it out of bounds. Excellent job. They were getting in his cylinder. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> There's somebody that knows how to get up in your cylinder. Oh, he can guard. That's why Wagner's been so good. So much. they're so consistently. I mean, talk about. I mean, they guard you. You know you're in for a physical game when you come to Wagner or when you play Wagner. 17 to 8 run for the Seahawks. Good denial that time by Wolford. Trying to take Wagner out of this set. But can Saunders make something happen? Norfleet. Got to finish that. He's getting there. He's got to finish plays, Norfleet. Braxton finds Thompson, but he cannot finish. Got to finish plays, guys. These are big, big possessions. Are you going to finish that? There's a <laughs> reference from 1982. A little diner. A little <laughs> diner for you. For the fans over 55. You're making me hungry with all your references tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and Jackson is fouled by Randall Gaskins. That was extra possessions. Wagner might lose some possessions with turnovers, but they get them back because they retrieve offensive rebounds. Jamal King replaces Gaskins, who has to sit with three fouls.
three-year starter Gaskins, kind of a glue guy for this team. Yeah, defensive specialist, so I mean, let's see if it may loosen things up. Braxton matched up with Saunders now. Wolford will have to play more. Saunders oh, to Jackson, and he is fouled. I like Saunders' feel for the game. Wow, he saw that play develop before anybody on the floor and, and passed it with a nice, soft touch. Here's Saunders up top. Look at it. He drives in, and he just puts it nice and easy for his big man down low. That's a great feel for the game. It's a good point, because very often it's hard for big guys to catch the ball. Right, right. So you have to have a touch. Think about the great quarterbacks in the NFL. They're not the ones that throw it the hardest. They're the ones that throw the right pass at the right time and understand who the receiver is. To say KYP, know your personnel. That was a beautiful feed up top. Jackson, the sophomore from Baltimore. Didn't score a lot last year, is becoming a factor down the stretch for the Seahawks. St. Francis hasn't scored a field goal in the last four minutes. Stolen by Saunders. Nigel Jackson counted and the foul. What a run here for Wagner. How about here, right here, the defense by Saunders doing a little bit of everything, making the play, pushing the pace, flag affects it. And yet here's Nigel Jackson right there, reverse pivot, flag almost got it again. He's able to finish after contact with a half hook, big time. It's an 11 to 1 run for Wagner. They have six offensive rebounds already, and that's been a factor. Yeah, and well, they're shutting them down. They're playing that mother in law defense right now. They're nagging, they're getting aggressive, and St. Francis can't get any looks at the basket. Look at Freeman getting after it. Good change of pace. It's like a little sports car right there, Jamal King, right? Like a Fiat. <laughs> Mitty Cooper. <laughs> yeah. Saunders for three. Got it! Boy, we were talking about Saunders being quiet. Boy, he's woken up, huh? Either assisting or scoring, making all sorts of plays, and defending. He's been great. Fourth in the league in scoring, fourth in rebounding, eighth in assists. It's a 14-3 run for Wagner. Wolford cannot answer. Braxton. King from deep again. And flag pushed off. 7.01 left in the first half. Wagner in front by four. Wagner playing at a very high level right now. Chase Freeman, their point guard, going to the line. One of the most improved players in the conference. Oh, Wagner on a 14-3 run. Wagner had four turnovers in the first three, four minutes of this game. They haven't turned it over since then. That was the issue in the beginning of the game. Why St. Francis got out to an early lead. Bashir Mason got him to settle down, finally got the score. And again, if they can score, they can set that terrific defense. And you can see how they can really, really shut you down. You can go into a major scoring drought when Bashir Mason's team gets playing D. He's the reigning NEC Coach of the Year. He sits Kulangis here. And see Donald Copeland talking to Kulangis. Copeland, the former Seton Hall star. Trying to feed the post. Laparal fouled on the catch. St. Francis is going to go with Braxton, King, Blackman, Wolford, and Laparal. And Wagner sends their center, Sumbri, to the bench. And they will go with a smaller lineup here with Freeman, Saunders, Davis, Liggins, and Jackson. It'd be interesting if this guy at the line will be a focal point of their offense. Luigi Laparal underneath does have a nice size advantage. See if they, they post him in their offensive possessions. Sumbri sitting with that second foul. 6.40 left of the first half. Ramon Saunders, their leading scorer, stepped out of bounds. 
And St. Francis will have it. Wagner's trying to snap a little two-game losing streak. They are 500 in league play and trying to move into fourth place in the league. The top four teams get home games in the quarterfinals in the NEC. The top eight teams out of ten make the conference tournament. Yeah, this is a huge game for Wagner, right? They, they want to be in position to have a home court advantage or first, first round home game. And a carry on Isaiah Blackman. Fourth St. Francis turnover. Yeah, for a potent offensive team uh, since the beginning of the game, uh, Rob Kernel's like looking, searching for some, uh, searching for some offense right now. Again, Wagner can really lock it down. Trying some pressure, but Wagner's been able to break it easily. Freeman, the pick and pop for Jackson. His three is good. Great call by you, Dave. That pick and pop. Great read by Freeman, knowing that the good shooter was to the outside, kicked it back. Jackson's really coming on. Tale of two games for Wagner. Started off so cold, yeah. and now they can't miss. Braxton's three. Got it. Right, you got to rely on your veterans when things aren't going well, right? And Jamal King. And Braxton working together beautifully in that possession. All right, we'll change the defense and see if this affects Wagner. First time we're seeing some zone by St. Francis. Again, that's an opportunity for Liggins right there. Freeman's three. St. Francis ball. Look at this feel for Freeman right there. It's the old pick and pop right there. Just a little hook pass back. Beautiful delivery. Nigel Jackson able to set his feet and shoot it in rhythm. Great minutes by Chase Freeman. Rotate a lot of bodies. When you play this type of defense, you want to have a lot of guys that can go on the floor, and that's what Wagner's done. I love Jackson's game. He's bouncy, he yeah. can shoot the three, six foot seven. He could have a huge I, year next year. Yeah. What you want, right? You want and he, yeah, he shoots the ball. Very looks good doing it. Good, good help by Davis. Norfleet lays it in. Ooh, little dipsy do right there, huh? My, my inner wrath came out. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I've always thought you have a lot of onions. King. No. He's fouled. <laughs> Defense great starting. De that, yeah, that began with great defense. The help and Davis with the deflection. And then Northley letting the defense fly by and just a little, little, extra, uh, little extra activity on that finish. That was pretty. Jamal King from Salisbury, Maryland, over 1,300 points in his career, 12th all time at St. Francis. As Chance Anderson comes in for the first time, missed the last couple with. An ankle injury, son of former NBA player Willie Anderson. Jackson gets a rest. All right, zone again. Let's see what Wagner's got against it. High post, Liggins walk. Oh, good help. Braxton with another steal. Braxton is fouled on the reach in by Jonathan Norfleet. And sometimes you, you, you change your defenses for a lot of reasons, right? It, it, it strengths adjust to the strength. Sometimes you just want to disrupt a, a good offensive rhythm that the opposition has. Wagner was scoring effortlessly, making a lot of plays. They've gone to the 2-3 a couple times. It's been pretty effective. Bashir Mason is now resting a couple of his guys with foul trouble. Sumbri and Jackson have two apiece. He's got the lead he can afford to. Braxton's free throw, no. Wouldn't be shocked if they, one of them came back on the floor, though. I, I think they play with enough different bodies that Wagner can rotate and, and not be worried about. Sometimes you sit guys out with two fouls in the first half. It can be very overrated. Tremendous all-around numbers for Braxton. Ah, 
11 double doubles, leads the league by far, and makes one of two. Norfleet also sitting with two fouls now. Can Saunders find an opening? Can he? Here he is. For three. Well, they had King if they kicked it up. Blackman is fouled by Anderson. 3.43 left in the first half here in the NEC. Wagner on top, 33-29. And so he's done that for 18th on the Wagner list. And when he gets 12 points, he'll pass Hank Pedro. Great Hank Pedro. Hank Pedro made the biggest shot ever at Wagner College. Really? Beat NYU when they're number one in the country. I uh, can't give it the year, early 60s, before there were divisions. And it was the biggest play ever in the history of the school. Jamal King. Feels like St. Francis now is kind of right in the ship a little bit. And Wagner's got to come out and execute right now. Blackman trying to deny Saunders the ball. They're extending the pressure back to man-to-man -to -man for St. Francis. Saunders using that forearm to create some space. Puck going to have to play against the clock. Real high screen and roll. Liggins rejected. Davis. That would have counted. Boy, we talk about Wagner's defense. What a terrific defensive possession that was for St. Francis. Three on the way. No good from Blackman. Freeman, he's rejected. And the putback won't go for Davis, but he was fouled. On Wolford. Coming up, we'll have AT&T at the half. Send it back to the studio in New York. Get you updated on what's going on in college basketball. We are just hours from March, Capper. Oh, <laughs> you are. It's getting there. It's getting there. Elijah Davis played at Lincoln High School in oh, Brooklyn. Oh, the rail splitters. Right? So many great ones. Oh. Dozens of great guards, including Stefan Marbury. King taking his time with his team down by three. Laparel get it. He wants it in the post. Got to make the play. Oh, good vision. Blackman rejected by Anderson, but a foul. Not the poise of Jamal King. Clock is winding down, and he just zips the ball right through the teeth of that zone. Beautiful feed. First foul on Saunders. Again, free throw line has really helped St. Francis so far in this game. There's a nice advantage for them getting to the line and converting right now. It's where they're getting most of their points. They're 14 out of 18 from the line. They've kind of slowed the momentum by getting to the line. Kind of got this game a little stuck in the mud. They've also made four for nine from downtown as Blackman converts that free throw. One point game. St. Francis on a 10 to three run last three minutes. Impressed with their defense over the last few minutes. We talked so much about Wagner's D. King working hard, match up with Saunders. Saunders fade away. Saved by Colangis. Davis. Braxton coming down with it. Two on two. Tough shot. Wow. 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 That's. It's player of the year shot right there. How about the effort, the entire possession? Retrieving the rebound, pushing it, and then finish, finishing that on that degree of difficulty. Wow. Wagner had been up by eight. St. Francis retakes the lead. Mad scramble. Four on the shot clock. Davis is three. Go! 
I always say when guys have to shoot the ball, when they have to, when they know they have to, the percentage goes up because they're like, hey, coach, what do you want me to do? There's no indecision. They know they have to heave it. Whatever their natural form is. Yeah, they, they just go. They just go with it. Not a lot of thinking involved. Yep. You have to let it go. Blackman lets it go. That's three. Good to see good teams shooting the ball well. He's eighth in the NEC, over 39% from deep. Oh, nearly stolen. And a reach-in foul. Will go against Wolford. Watch this play by Braxton. After he makes it, retrieves it. That's he bounds three steals already. <laughs> and Ramon Saunders, the top scorer for Wagner, going to the line where he is fourth in the NEC, over 85% this year. Again, so impressed with, you know, Braxton's all-around ability and, and Saunders' all-around ability. They just are complete basketball players. In this age of positionless basketball, they are just terrific all-around players. King with the rainbow. That was pretty right there. High and soft. And, you know, he shot it for two for one. They want to get the ball back. That was big time. Knowing time and score and making an early play. King has nine. Saunders turned it over. Clock kept running there. Here's the penetration to King right there. He had Freeman on his side looking high and soft. Guard's got to have that shot, and he's got it. A floater. King. Six seconds left in the half. Braxton's three. Got it! Huge shot for the Red Flash just before halftime. 43-39 St. Francis. How about that? Point seven. So let's see if they can get a shot off here with Kulangis to inbound. Does so to Saunders. Can't pass it there. And that'll be the end of the first half. Each team led by eight points in the first half, but it'll be first place St. Francis with the four points. We're out in force here tonight on their campus here on Staten Island. St. Francis closed the first half on a 20 to eight run. They have the ball here. Laparal, the big guy, hasn't touched it much. King's three-pointer. There's Sumbery, the athleticism of Sumbery. We saw that early in the game. Wagner sat a lot of guys late first yeah. half with two fouls. Yeah, they got some fresh bodies. They played a lot of people. Saunders, good look to Norfleet. Rebounded by Braxton. Stolen back by Kulangis, his first basket. Great play by Kulangis right there. In his opportunity to start in this game. His job right now is to try to neutralize Jamal King. He's out there for defense. Colangis oh. is guarding King, who blows by him. Rebounded by Norfleet. Colangis. Is fouled. He's playing with some nice confidence is Jeff Kalangis right there. Doing it again, getting his opportunity. Getting out there. Good attack. Tim, he played more early in the year. Didn't play in the last four games at all, but elected to join the starting lineup today. The junior from Trenton provided some energy. Yeah, energy. You know, he's a terrific defender. That's why this extra offense that he's providing right now is a big... Big boost for Bashir Mason in the Seahawks. Galan just knocks it down to tie the game at 43. If St. Francis wins, they clinch at least a tie for the regular season title here in the NEC. It would be the first time in 28 years. 
Laparal rejected by Sunbury. See, that's no, that's scouting report right there. Sunbury knows that Laparel wants to come back to that right shoulder, so he anticipates and he meets him. Braxton. Whoa! Creating his own three. That was pretty hot about that step back. And again, knowing that the clock was winding down, knew he had the freedom to make that play happen. That was pretty. Game high 15 for Keith Braxton, the junior from Glassboro, New Jersey. Belanges to Sumbri. And he walked. Step back by Braxton right here. Gets it right here. Step back. Good separation. And right into that shooting form. Big time play. Even he liked it. Braxton is a first team all NEC player. Three time player of the week this year. You know, he can play point guard too. And he does play a lot of. Handles the ball a lot. Here's King elevating. Laparel. We oui, oui. <laughs> From Petit Board, France, Luigi Laparal, the 6'9 senior. How would Marv Albert do it? We. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Colangis. Oh! Colangis turning it on here. Some offensive production here in the second half. Put me in, coach. Where have I been? Blackman. Sumbri nearly tipped it in his own basket. And then a foul on Sumbri blocking Isaiah Blackman. But Jeff Colangis has been a storyline in this the start this second half. He's been doing it in multiple areas, putting up some points for the Seahawks. And again, he hadn't played in the last four games, so. Getting his opportunity, making the most of it. He has seven. That's four shy of his career high. Blackman. Again, the free throw line has been the friend to St. Francis. What the composure of Rob Krimmel. I like the way he carries himself. Sumbury sits with the three fouls. Nigel Jackson back in, the shooter. You know, I tell you what, Nigel Jackson played eight minutes in the first half at nine points. Four for four. They don't lose much. You're going to just get a different version. That's the guy that needs minutes. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. He could be a difference maker. Let's see if he does. Eli Davis. Braxton can guard you, too. But that's Braxton right there, knowing the next pass. He closed out, no, anticipating the next pass. That therefore he gets the deflection. Five on the clock because of that guy, Keith Braxton. Side out of bounds. Oh, Norfleet breaking ankles. Jonathan, wow, big time. <laughs> it sure was. That was the one on the shot clock. Braxton. Saunders and Braxton got a little something extra going, don't they? Both smiling. <laughs> All in fun. Oh. Laparal tied up, fouled by Norfleet. <laughs> Look at this play. Norfleet breaking the ankles right there, making the play. Wow. Look at the change of direction behind the back and doing a great job. Good career he's going to have. Third foul on Northlead. He stays in. Traveling against Blackman. Now when you close out like Saunders did right there, you create a little anxiety. What kind of confidence Northlead has. Sometimes you make a play like that, you start feeling really good about yourself. Great matchup between him and Jamal King right now. Jonathan Northlead was a big recruit for Wagner. Highly sought. Hey, he looks the part, doesn't he? Yep. That's him with the basketball. Norfleet using the Jackson screen. That worked in the first half. Off of Saunders, St. Francis ball. Taking us to a timeout. 15.47 left here on Staten Island.
Wagner down two. One here. Very good game. Good intensity. Guys playing at a high level. This matchup between Saunders and Braxton is going to become even more and more critical as the game progresses. Because the star players take a good pass by Flag. Blackman lays it in. He has 15. Nice play out of a timeout, knowing that Wagner likes to deny on the wings. They set him up for the back, back door. Saunders is fouled. This one has been tightly contested. Seven lead changes, three ties. No one is led by more than eight. Saunders with a strong quick crossover attack. Again, uh, you're going to see a lot of Saunders down the stretch of this game. And, and Braxton. It's going to be a great match. Saunders had 18 the last time these teams met. It was a win by Wagner, 83-79. Chase Freeman is back in for Bashir Mason's team. I convert. Every one of the, these are going to be big, these free throws. It's a tight game. Wagner has missed six free throws. See, here's Braxton as a point guard. That good, good deflection by Saunders. Disruption. Mark Flagg off the head fake. Second chance. Third. Third chance. He'll be shooting two. Great effort by Flagg right there. Wow. Multiple efforts but up and under right here. Doesn't finish. Stays with it again. We talked about his quick leaping ability, right? Look at how easily and quick he gets up. He's got the hands. Boy, he is coming on. He's had some big games this year. Guys are bricking from the free throw line. Now the last three have been missed. Two for Wagner. Flag misses that, but boy, I like his his future. I like him right now. Missed them both. Colangis. Jackson follows. Nice. Clean it up right there. Nigel Jackson. Points just find him. Up to 11 and only about 10 minutes. Five out of six from the field. Coming off a career high. 22 is last time. King. Now Braxton. Can take his time. Jackson switching out. Good defense by Nigel Jackson. Good feet. Air ball rebounded by Kulangis. He had an open Jackson in the corner. Davis rejected by flag. Looked pretty clean. <laughs> Excellent job right here. Jackson staying out, switching out on Keith Braxton, keeping him under control, and then contesting the shot. Nigel Jackson, we talked a lot about him in the first half. Only a sophomore, and just between him and Flag, right? A couple of really talented bigs. A little different. Some guys are just players, you know? Like uh, Eli Davis, just, just when you watch him and you see him, he's just a player, right? Absolutely. And then, and then you reminded me he's from Lincoln Heights. That's it. That guy's playing. Right? Making some plays right there. Tying the game up at 52 apiece. By the way, that last foul was on Gaskins, his fourth, not on flag on the block. Oh, good call. Thank you. Kalangis doing a solid job. King relatively quiet. See if he can get a touch right here. Oh, there's Kalangis again. A great effort. They say he stepped out of bounds. See, Kalangis is out there because they want to try to neutralize King, who's been really good for a lot of games. Just, well, he's been great for a long time. Well, look at this effort. Look at Kalangis' effort right here. Hustling out. Tell you what, if he went with the inside hand right there, he would have been able to tip it and retrieve it. But great effort, and that's why he's on the floor. That's why the seven points he has early in the second half are really meaningful because he's out there for defense. Look at that defense right there by Wagner. Saunders breaking it up. Still time. King. Davis. 
Tough angle. Sure was, sure was, but again, so composed. Good lead pass that time by Saunders also. Six nothing run for Wagner to retake the lead. There's Braxton up there again, playing the point. Got King off the ball. Can De Freeman deny him the catch? What is that? So you can't play with your hands. You got to move it. Chase Freeman's working so hard, but his hands, you got to show your hands when you're guarding. See, this lead pass made a difference, too. Got it out in front for Eli Davis, and then you're right, Dave. He was almost behind the backboard in a soft touch. See, he's never, Eli Davis never seems like he's, he's sped up, right? He's, he's always seems strong and under control. You mentioned early on Wagner trying for the four seed here in the NEC, which would give them a home game yeah. in the first round. That's going to be harder because Sacred Heart is whomping Robert Morris right now. Three won't go for Wolford. Blackman, no, but he is fouled. Sacred Heart is leading Robert Morris 85-63 with two minutes left in that ball game in Connecticut. So uh, they have a pretty good chance of securing that four spot. But still basketball yeah, to be played. Sure. We have games on Saturday. Well, regardless, if Wagner wins this game and you're beating a, a top team, your, your confidence level is going to go way up. I tell you, what's been going on is this Isaiah Blackman has been able to get to the free throw line. This is his ninth and tenth free throw attempt. Great job getting on the glass or just getting fouled. Four straight free throw misses for the Red Flash. Jackson. Well, that looked good, though. He's got a good-looking stroke. Yep. What is effort by Saunders? Oh, they're working hard. Colangis. No. Oh. Oh, how do you not come up with anything right there? Big swing. Flag hits it. Chance for a three-point play. Could be a five-point swing. Here's the misses. Is the effort by Saunders working hard? Throws it ahead. Kalan just doesn't finish. Other guys, miscommunication, hustle here. And then King hits it. Braxton gets the ball up the floor. Right, here's the effort again by Wagner. And you got to finish this play because here's Martin. They, St. Francis up on the other end. And you just said it, Dave. The swing of the play then ends up Mark Flagg scoring on the other end. And now he's going to the free throw line. That's the two you didn't get, the two they got. And that's a big uh, injury right there. It's Nigel Jackson limping to the side. He's been terrific tonight with 11 points, three rebounds. Not only does he have four fouls, but a little worse for the wear. We'll get a report from Craig on that in a little bit. 12-27 left in the game, tied at 54, and flag to the line. Sophomore from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania. Wow. St. Francis has missed five straight free throws, and Jackson is headed back to the locker room. All right, zone, a little different look for the red flash here of St. Francis. Sunbury. Just kind of playing around the zone. Yeah, you want to play through it. Good call. Get, couldn't get Saunders the ball in the middle. King relatively. Well, how about flag over the top? But. Over the top with contact, apparently. A foul on flag. That's his third, 11 56. And his team is number one. He's doing it. Norfleet and Freeman, two point guards out there for Wagner. Sumber to Saunders. Poked out by Thompson. Greg, what's up? Well, Dave, Nigel Jackson didn't quite go all the way to the locker room. He went over to the behind the bench area. They taped up his left knee, and he's on the bench. Hopefully, they can get him back in the game. Back to you. All right. Saunders to Davis for three. That's good. Eli Davis turning it up here in the second half. Putting up some numbers. 
scoring all over the floor, showing his range right there. 16 points, three for six from downtown. Wagner back in front. Nine lead changes. Couple bigs on the floor for St. Francis. Can they utilize them down low? Some contact by Sumbry. Jamal King working off the high screen action. Well, they're getting to the line again. Uh, St. Francis is going to start converting. Fourth foul on Sumbry. Maybe a little bit of acting there. Some NEC scores. It's now final at Sacred Heart. Hurting Robert Morris's chances for potential regular season title. LIU Brooklyn big. The Mount yeah. really storming down the stretch here. And Bryant winning at St. Francis Brooklyn. So a lot of parity. A lot of parity, a lot of excitement. And again, uh, the value of home court advantage in the conference tournament. Although over the years, it hasn't necessarily worked out that way. Sounds a little better than it is. St. Francis has been so cold of the line yes, here. They, they can't they miss like five in a row. Yeah, at least 10 overall. Yeah, we're saying what a storyline it was because they were getting there and converting. It really helped them in the first half. It's hurting them right now because they can't make them. They're making their three. Seven for 15 is 47%. Yep. Saunders through contact. Rebounded by Laparov. King finds a shooter in Blackman. Wolford, that's three. Good old kick extra pass right there. Blackman to Wolford. And again, that beautiful form. The defense closing out and it just drains it. Yeah, the three pointer. Big, good friend of the Fred Flash in this one. 76% of Wolford's attempts this year yeah. are threes. Great call. Norfleet's three. Oh, Anderson trying to keep it alive. The difference in those two threes, the extra pass, rhythm three on one side, the other side, Norfleet taking a, a, a difficult three off the bounce. Thompson will sit for St. Francis, and Wagner has a couple subs in there. They're going to go with Polangis, Saunders, Norfleet, Davis, and Chance Anderson. Midway point of the second half, tied up. King a relatively quiet for a while, expecting to try to make some plays, but Kalan just trying to stay attached. Look at him working defensively. Wolford contested three. Oh. He drains it, big time. Man, it falling down, a little calm with some contact, and he still made it. Unbelievable shot by Andre Wolford. He's knocked down two in a row. That's three for Ramon Saunders. He's into double figures with 12. And St. Francis calls time. We are tied at his Wagner team won 23 games overall, 14 in the league, which was first. They ended up going to the NIT. St. Francis went to the CIT. They did it three of the last four years. Both are candidates to go to the big dance. Blackman's three. Short and knocked out off of Colangis. Yeah, and see, that's a little bit of Braxton, right? He starts the offense, he gives a quick delivery for a potential assist, runs in there, gets almost a rebound, gets an extra possession for his team. And Wagner doesn't have a lot of size in there now with the guy with Sumbri and Jackson with four. Can Laparel or Braxton do damage around the basket because of that? Braxton is fouled. 77% free throw shooter. Again, thin front line now for Wagner. Going on a while with big, some bigs in foul trouble. Sumbri and Jackson both have four. Three for Norfleet. That last one was on Chance Anderson, his second. Coach of the year in the NEC, twice. Bashir Mason, the Jersey City native. His childhood buddy, Donald Copeland, who's now on his bench. That's a good, that's a talented bench as far as players, right? You got Donald Copeland, who is a great player. Bashir Mason, 
Mike Babel, Winston Smith. As, as far as four players go on a staff, I put them up against anybody. They all look like they can play. And they practice with these Wagner players. All the time, right? All the time in practice. And three of them are from the Bruiser Flint tree. Yeah. Saunders. No. Babel and Winston Smith played at UMass for Bruiser and uh, Bashir Mason. Of course, if it's St. Francis staff is playing against, you got to give the ball to Eric Taylor. He could dominate down low. Oh, they had a staff. See that? There's Wolford. It's his spot. Oh, boy, Isaiah Blackman's everywhere. Keeps it alive. St. Francis with the ball and a two-point lead as we approach eight minutes to go. Double in the post. Good kick out pass. Extra pass. Wolford's three. Colangis. Good pass to Freeman. And he is rejected. No foul called. Braxton comes away with it. Three on one. Wolford. Wow. That was a swing right there, too, huh? Seemed like there was a decent amount of contact on Chase Freeman. He got it up top, but I thought there was a lot of body contact. And then they score on the other end. Davis, Agreed. 15 for Wolford. Down. Davis shooting two. That was a little old score right there. I like that with Elijah Davis, right? That was a New York City back down. 60 factor, 16 points. This year, Mason has had to retool this team with no Blake Francis, no JoJo Cooper. He lost about 32 points per game from last year's team. Well, they're just good every year. I mean, you talk about getting it going and doing a great job. I mean, they're good every year. Bringing in players, and they play hard, and they play together. Plan just trying to take that right hand away of Jamal King. Good activity by Kalanjis. Braxton is fouled by Colangis, his second. And show your hands the entire time. Start reaching in, that's when you get the calls. Here it is right there. There's the hand, the lower hand. He's done a good job showing his hands the whole time. The moment you start reaching in, that's when the offense gets those calls. Braxton with 17. Both teams are in the one and one here. It's a big fundamental to teach now. You know, referees, if, if you show your hands the whole time when you're guarding, a wall up, they call it walling up around the basket. It's how you want to play defense. You just want to force difficult shots. Keep your hands out of the, out of the contact. After struggling at the line, St. Francis has now made four in a row to take a four-point lead inside seven minutes to go. Davis wants it. He's going to back people down, posting up smaller guards. Old school. Davis is fouled. Oh, and I like a little old school, right? It's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here in Wagner. I like it. What was it like playing at Wagner for P.J. Carlissa? Uh, it was uh, It was great. It was great. Great place. Great experience. Love coaching here. The only guy that's ever been fired by an athletic director and still thinks he's the greatest guy he ever met. <laughs> Wald Hamline I'm talking about. Just say, it's, it's a great place, great school, very fortunate. It's always fun for me to come back. But again, the free throw shooting is, is determining a lot in this game. Or it just feels like there's a lot of guys missing. Here's Braxton. Braxton, offensive foul. A.J. Sumbry always does it up above that time. He put himself in very good position. Excellent job. Braxton's coming down. Sumbry sets himself. Good job. And good call. It's close enough. Yeah. Braxton hurt his foot a little bit. That's a big deal right there. And it's his fourth foul. Wow. 
So Keith Braxton, who's leading St. Francis in scoring, not only this year, but tonight, going to the bench. Here's the guy who's been looking to make plays, Eli Davis. Jackson feeling better back out on the floor. North lead. And Colangis came in hard on Laparal and committed his third foul. Again, we're talking about free throw shooting. Eh? Who's going to make them? Been a bunch of them. Wagner, third of the league this year, shooting 74% collectively, and St. Francis right behind them at 71%. But I mean, St. Francis has been there 31 times so far in this game. I mean, they, they were on a roll for a while in the first half. They're making them. Second half, that has hurt them. They would have a much more comfortable if they're converting free throws. Oh, caught a lot of rim there, Luigi. He was a good free throw shooter. Rob Crimmel, former star for the Red Flash, a captain for this team. He's always been a, he's a, one of the classiest players I, I ever we ever met when we were broadcasting and he's turned into one of the classiest coaches you'll ever meet. Former NEC student athlete. Yeah, of he, the year. big time. Northfleet changes directions really good. Saunders three won't go. Oh, rebound. Jamal King kind of controls the action now. The later the game, the more he controls. Giving some room to Gaskin's good decision. Get it back to King. King gets to the basket. How about that? It's good to be the King. How about that? <laughs> Making a play. 10 to 3 run for St. Francis. Colanches for three. Tracked down by Wolford. Again, here's King. Now he, oh. oh. That's three for Jamal King. Jamal King time, and he's making it happen. He said he had to take over, especially, especially with Braxton on the bench right now. He knows he has the freedom to be more, more assertive offensively, and he's making it happen. King with 14. Jackson is back in. North leads three. They needed that one. Yeah, they did. I mean, a lot of time, a lot of time, but there's a confident Jamal King right now. Five points. Wagner sitting back a little bit, sitting back a little zone. If you need to eat up that much clock if you're St. Francis, you're on a little bit of roll right now. They have their largest lead. Gaskins three. Falls. Gaskins gets the roll. A 42% free throw shooter buries it. A 16 to 3. They may not even have to put Keith Braxton and, back and, in the game. They might not. And the damage done with Braxton sitting out. And this guy defensively, Jamal King in the middle of all the all the plays in that run. Davis for three. Rebounding excellent here in the second half. Wagner was really working the uh, offensive glass in the first half. St. Francis done a good job rebounding the board. Again, King wants to handle the ball a lot now. Red Flash looking for a season split with the Seahawks. If they can hold on here inside four minutes to go. Kings three won't fall. Rebounded by Saunders. Careless. Two on one. Blackman takes it himself. 17 points. That's big right there, right? I mean, it's just very frustrating. Just owning the game now is St. Francis as Saunders turned it over at previous possession. They need threes and a hurry. Yeah, they sure do. Davis for two, a new career high for Elijah Davis. He has 21. It's 
So Wagner is going to play pretty much straight up. See if they start taking some chances. Try to increase the tempo. St. Francis milking it a little bit. And again, a leader like this on the floor, King, to handle the ball. Capra, the St. Francis D shut them down yeah. down the stretch. No field goals for 623. Davis, offensive foul. Laparel putting himself in position right there. Excellent job. Sprinting back. For those of you tuning in for the Old Dominion at UTSA game, you'll be able to find that online at cbssports.com slash cbssn as soon as it tips off. And, of course, we'll get you out there immediately after the conclusion of this game. Double dribble. Strange play right there as Isaiah Blackman was in the open floor, but must have hit the ball simultaneously with both hands. Norfleet back in. They need his shooting. Freeman to the bench. Not over yet, but Wagner has to go quickly. Sumbury misses, rebounded by King. St. Francis looking to work some clock here. This would be their 12th win in league play, cementing first place. I thought you made a great point, Dave, in that you, you know, it was both sides of the floor that did it, gave them this nice lead. Their defense has been outstanding. Gaskins misses from deep. Saunders is fouled. Right, 60-60. Both these teams were tied. This was as tight a game as it could be. And an 18-5 run. I mean, it, uh, obviously, Jamal King and Wolf, the guys are making shots. The guys are making plays, free throws. King making, getting things going. But the defense by St. Francis getting the stops is, is, was huge. Saunders has 13. Here are a couple of differences in the game. St. Francis has made three more threes. So there's nine of your points. And they also have nine more free throws, so yeah. that's the advantage. Well, it, well, and they won the game in the last six minutes. Uh, you know what I mean? They just own the down the stretch of the game. They've owned it. Laparel grabbing the rebound, trying to clear. It's tied up, and finally they do call a jump ball. Possession arrow favors Wagner. Wagner with just one timeout left. Freeman needs help. Jackson lets it fly. Davis and one. Good job by Elijah Davis getting it done again. He has been impressive. It's given Wagner at least the long shot right now. To be honest, get cut it to nine with a free throw. Davis with 23 on 7 out of 11 shooting. He has three three-pointers, seven rebounds as well as Gaskins returns, replacing Wolford. What an offense defense. I want to keep him out there for offense anyway. Four fouls. Can Wagner force a turnover right now? That's what they need, a turnover. Great effort. That's a first step one. Okay, here's the set. A little stack action right here. And Blackman's at half court. See if he shows up. Are they going to trap it? Good release pass by Jamal King. Braxton, the veteran, looking to take the air out of the basketball with 135 left. Play it out now, if you're Wagner. Straight up. Must stop. Braxton creating. Laparel couldn't hold on to it. Here's the chance for Wagner. Saunders missed the layup. And a foul on the rebound. 
What a rebound by Braxton right there. But there was their opportunity right there, unable to finish Ramon Saunders. The Old Dominion at UTSA game is underway and now available at CBSSports.com slash CBSSN. We'll get you out there as soon as this one is over. Nineteen tonight for Keith Braxton. Here's an impressive number for him. Over eight defensive rebounds per game. That is fifth in the country. He's 6-4. Uh, and, and how about that possession right there? That's what he came down with. The big, kind of a, a dagger rebound. You know, basically, he just came down with it. They needed it. Eight boards tonight. Flag is back in, replacing Laparal. Ten-point game. And get somebody open at the, at the three-point line. Gonna let some fly. Here it is. Jackson's three. There's Hooks comes down with it. Braxton again. Closing it on another double-double. His ninth rebound. Flag. Braxton knows to slow it down here. 50 seconds left. They got a foul. Go ahead. Got a foul. Yeah. St. Francis has struggled up the line. Very surprising not fouling. Good pass right there. Beautiful feed. And really. Davis's three is good. Nine point game. Just over 30 seconds left. Wagner calls their last timeout. Free flowing game, but again it was 60 60 with about seven minutes to go. Then quickly Blackman is fouled. 72% free throw shooter. Foul on Davis, who has been a revelation tonight with 27.7 rebounds. That's by far his career high. Blackman has 17 points, 10 boards tonight, a double-double for Isaiah. Very big game for St. Francis, obviously, and then to be able to go on the road and show the mental toughness. Just get the job done. Brock Kermel's got to be really happy with this group. Freeman's got to let it fly. Couldn't get it. Rebounded by Flag. And that will about do it. Wagner calls off the Hawks. <laughs> 15 seconds left. Since it was 60 to 60, St. Francis outscored Wagner 23 to 12 to finish this game. Your final score, 83-72. St. Francis does it. And Rob Kribble on the Red Flash clinched their first NEC regular season title since 1991.